I'm here in the kitchen with my favorite Tastefully Simple Cowboys. Tell them what we got, boys. Giddy up, guacamole. All right. So are you excited it's back? Oh, wow. absolutely. Yeah, so who really loves guacamole? Right here, anybody? Guacamole. Actually, Jane, I've got a question. When I go to a Mexican restaurant, I kind of push it off to the side. So you got to help me here. John. 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 John, that's just wrong, honey. you got to give me some ideas. You're supposed to take the guacamole on the side of your plate and put it on top of whatever else is on your plate. That's what I've been missing. Right, that's what you've been missing. So we're going to learn how to make some guacamole here. And I have a perfectly ripened avocado. And, and how, how would a guy know? How would a guy know? Perfectly ripe. All right, take that avocado and it's just got a little bit of give to it. Right? Little tiny bit squishy. I don't want to do it. I watch my hand. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's just a little bit squishy. It's got kind of that model texture on the outside. So that's how you know it's perfectly ripened. And so we're just going to take our big, get our machete ready oh, here. Yeah. And I'm just going to cut it right to the pit. There's a big giant pit in the middle of an avocado. And then I'm just going to twist it like that. Oh. Nice. Very nice. And then to get the pit out, that thing's kind of slimy, so it's really hard to hang on to. So. Take your machete, we go. and we're going to give this a thwack, all right? So I got to concentrate. You don't want to miss on this move, but yeah. it works like a charm, all right? <laughs> and here we go. Just like that. Oh. Ta-da. Like like Very nice. Is That's the best of, way. Is there like a power tool you can yeah. use yeah. instead <laughs> of like a reciprocating Some sort of uh, extracting yeah. tool. Yeah, yeah, kind of kind of extraction device. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so then I just cut this in half again, and your avocado peel just comes right off. Ooh. So what you would do to make your guac is just dice this up a little bit and throw it in a bowl to which I have already added uh, our guacamole mix, which is actually a dry mix, comes in a two-pack box. So I've added water and my dry uh, guacamole mix. It's got beautiful blend of herbs and spices to make perfect guacamole. Okay, looks good. So I'm going to just toss this in. I would actually put into this two avocados, okay, two peeled chopped avocados. And then you just take a fork and you just start to mash that up. And since my uh, avocado was perfectly ripened, this mashes up really nice and easy just with a fork. So we would just keep doing that with more avocado. And like I said, I already have one ready for you. And who wants to try it? I'll try it. OK. This is our beautifully prepared giddy up guacamole. We have some wonderful blue Aztec chips with that. And give that a whirl. I've heard that this will put a. Uh, Hitch in your giddy up there, bud. It, it will. <laughs> will this okay. turn brown? Sometimes avocado, guacamole, it'll... it'll it does. Up. Yeah, it does. Av uh, avocados sort of oxidize rather mm -hmm. rapidly once they hit air. So oh, once you true. peel it, it they, they turn brown fast. But um, I decided, you know, I think the trick is you take a piece of uh, plastic wrap, and once you have your guacamole prepared, you just press that so that it's all the way sealed to the top of your guac and then that prevents any air from getting to it, so it'll last longer that way. So that's a great magic trick yeah. if you didn't know about that one. All right, well, what goes really great with guacamole? Salsa. 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 Cold beer. Cold beer. beer salsa. Cold beer, or how about a nice twist of lime margarita? There you go. Okay, so what I have here is our brand new salsa for the season. It is called Vine Ripened Salsa. All right, well, our new vine ripened salsa, it has some roasted veggies in it, lots of chunks of other vegetables in there, very mild. Are you noticing that it's a mild yeah. salsa? And uh, really, uh, the good thing about it, there's no fruit in it this time around. I know lots of times we have a fruit salsa this time. It's a, just a mild, basic salsa with great roasted veggies in it. And you can top that on, you know, anything that you put your guacamole on, right? Your guacified burger. Uh, I actually have a casserole here that I want to tell you about. Uh, everybody knows about salsa, I think, but what you might not know is that if you have salsa in your cupboard, you have dinner because salsa is the binder that you need to make a really great casserole or you can put it on top of scrambled eggs with some shredded cheddar cheese. Who knows what that's called? Huevos rancheros. Huevos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, this casserole is just spaghetti and a jar of the vine ripened salsa and some cooked hamburger and I think maybe a little bit of onion onion in there and then you just put in a lot of cheddar cheese. How
How about another appetizer? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes you're not full yet. You're no, ready to go. Yet. All right, this one is, uh, it's a recipe from our new appetizer booklet. So I love that little booklet because it's all appetizers. Who would be willing to just only eat appetizers from now on? Yeah, I do some That's all I do. I know, me too. So this is called uh, salsa chicken salad. So all it is is just some cooked chicken, our new vine ripened salsa, a little bit of corn. You can see it's garnished with some cilantro. I'm going to hand this to you, John, if you can okay. give me that casserole back. Yeah, I say we skip the main course and just walk wow. till we drop. Walk, walk till you drop. drop. I like that. I know, mm -hmm. I like it too. All right, so giddy up guacamole. I want you to notice something very special about this box. It's, it's in like standard a... line colors. Does anybody oh. know what that means? This is standard seasonal. <laughs> it's standard seasonal, right? It's our we we have been putting some products into a, a standard look because they come back every season most often. There's no guarantees in life, no guarantees with giddy up, but now that they put it in their seasonal standard packaging, it's very likely that it will come back summer after summer.